Okay, so not my most exciting thing I'm doing. I'm gonna edit most of me washing the truck out. But I gotta show you guys this, cause this is gross. You guys have heard me talk about there being a lot of junk in this truck I'm getting out. And I just wanna show you what I'm getting out of the hitch and I've gotten this out of the frame. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna go over my five things I love about my 2015 6.7 power truck. So now that we rinsed this truck off a little bit, we're gonna bring it out into the clouded sunlight. It's not sunny out, guys. It really kills the effect of one of the reasons I love this truck so much. Let's get it out here. The first thing on my list of the five things I love about my 6.7 is gonna be the body style. This is really one of my favorite body styles Ford's ever put together, even more so than the 2017s. And I will say the 2020s are a mean looking truck. I know they only made subtle changes, but I do really like those trucks. This one though, this is my favorite overall style. Obviously we're starting back here at the back, but moving around, we got here, this tailgate looks it's just super awesome with the stamped in super duty. You probably can't even really see it right now, but that stamped in super duty looks super awesome. Got the big Ford emblem on the back. I love these tail lights. They're not flush with the body like the normal super duties or the older ones, I should say, from like 07 and earlier. But they kind of come out, but it's not like gaudy or anything like that. It's just a very subtle thing breaks this up looks super nice i actually really like the factory tail lights we're probably going to in the future get some smoked out ones to go back here but i don't plan to upgrade to like or change i should say to leds like i do on my 04. now coming around to the front we have these big headlights this big imposing grill it just looks mean it really shows how big of a truck this is it's super cool i love that about the ford again this is the most massive Ford emblem in the world. And again, Ford with the emblems, this thing is huge. It's, I mean, it's bigger than my hand. Uh, it's just, it looks cool. I like this big aggressive look they went with the front. And they did a few subtle things with the hood, this indentation here. Now again, I'm not saying this front end's gonna stay exactly how it is now. I do have plans to change this up, especially the headlights, but probably more just to projectors and blacking out most of the housing little potential sneak peek at a project in the future. But I don't really have changes, or I don't really have plans to change that all out. Heck, I've even thought about keeping the grill completely alone. I've thought about blacking out, like color matching the surround and leaving the center, uh, platinum grill option, a whole I, couple ideas, but essentially I really like this look. I don't know that I'd put a Raptor grill on. Which I know we're talking about the 6.7, but guys, the Raptor grills are back. You can get them saying Ford again, link down in the description. It is a affiliate link full disclosure so if you guys are looking at my 6.0 guys that have been looking for a while they're back you can get them and I will link that down below and also I know it's stupid I do really like the tow hooks that are still there now the last things for the exterior guys these big tow mirrors I love these those of you guys some moron on his motorcycle being annoying because that's what we're doing Anyway, guys, these big mirrors, I love these things. I put these on my 04. Josh put them on his 04 as well. This is a Lariat. This has power extend, power fold. Just love these. These work super nice. Now, the last thing we're going to do on the exterior of this truck is one of my favorite features, and it's such a dumb feature. You can add it to almost any vehicle out there. But I really feel in 2011, when the 6.7 was first released, it was just kind of a super cool feature that started coming factory on these trucks and it is so it's my remote start i know that super first world problem of me to be as excited about start remote start i should say but i love it i'm in pennsylvania it gets cold here it's not uncommon in the winter time for us to have single digits and throw snow on top of it i love coming out to a completely warm truck i will say these trucks do not take long to heat up but 
it's just a favorite feature of it. I really love it. In fact, if it's if I do it in the summertime when it's hot, it turns my cold seat on or my AC seats. In the wintertime, turns on my heated seat. I know. Super, super sad that that's one of my favorite features, but it does make the top five. Now this does lead me into my next thing and that is the engine. And if you guys notice, it's on. It's running, like now. Anyone that's been watching the channel knows that with a six liter, I have to either scream at you guys at the top of my lungs or turn the truck off after I start it. And right now you guys, you, I'm sure you can hear it, but not a whole lot. And I really do enjoy that. It's nice to have a quiet ride. I know my family, when we're driving, the, when we're towing the camper somewhere or driving around, they don't always enjoy the sound of the six liter. I know that's kind of crazy because I love the sound of the six liter. But I will say towing down with a 13,000 pound fifth wheel for 10, 12 hours, uh, it does get a little old sometimes. You want it to be quieter. And with these newer trucks, they are super, super quiet. So with these newer trucks, they are super quiet. It's super nice. It's nice to cruise down the highway going to work in the morning and not make a bunch of noise. I do miss my six liter guys. I'm not, no, I'm not punking out on you. I can't wait to have the six liter back. It will be back. But with the new trucks, it is nice to be able to just have some more comfort over some of the earlier stuff. Again though, guys, I can't wait to hear my six liter again. I miss that truck. The next thing I wanna say is the features of this truck are just awesome. It's got, sure, I know this isn't a huge update from even the 08 generation. There are some updates, like you got this little guy up here. That's cool. We have a nice infotainment center from factory, which means the call stuff, the mic internal microphone that's already here works super, super great. And I do like it. This is Sync, I believe this is just 2.0, which looks just like the first generation, but they fixed a lot of the nonsense that they had issues with. I know my battery on my phone, almost dead. Need to fix that. Great song. Anyway, again, we have our heated seats, cooled seats, all of our climate control stuff here. Super easy. I do like that a lot of this stuff is down here. I do wish my seat controls were also down here. I wish I had a hard button for that, but oh well. So really the interior as a whole, I just love. Between the seats, I got a bench seat up here. Just to get a different angle of the seats of the interior here, I just love it. We have a jump seat up front here. I can throw that up. I don't really use it much, but the times I do, I really like it. Full power seats, this feature, I love this feature. So we have power fold. Folding, folding, I love it. Super dumb, I agree. The other thing, power extend that guy's moving out that guy's moving out and back in I love the power fold because those times you went towing and you forgot to push your mirrors back in before hopping in the truck and driving down the road without and without putting your mirrors back in I know Cummins guys that's normal to you you just leave those bad boys up all the time yeah shout out to the Cummins guys anyway I just love that I know it's dumb we have memory seats here super nice heated and cooled seats and we have heated rear seats i think that's super cool i have no idea why but why we have them but we do a future project but i got the wrong one back here i keep a tow rope back here there's a few other things i need to put in here i haven't yet but have this nice this locks there's even a power outlet back here which i'm going to be honest i didn't realize that was there until just now so power outlet back here. There's like a million power outlets in this thing. It's kind of crazy actually. There's a the little subwoofer. We have the upgrade sound system in here and I love that feature as well. Probably gonna switch that out in the future for an upgraded one though. Some of the dumber things, we have a power rear window here. I like it, it's cool. I do actually use it, but I'm not like, eh, I can give or take it. I'd be fine with just a regular glass. I do like the, has defrost on there. Now, another thing I really enjoy, and I think this, this isn't really a huge thing for me, but, and it kind of falls under features. I know I've gone over a lot. We kind of lump some things together, but I really like, this has an electric locking rear diff. So you pull out on that, and this little icon down here pops on. And that electronically locks your diff. Now it's only good to like 20 miles an hour and it's under truck apps here. If you look, I don't know if this is gonna show up. If you look when I do that, so that's open diff, has nothing. And when you pull out, it locks. 
Now it only stays engaged till 20 miles per hour. I think it's SPE or SPD, something like that. They have a kit to make that stay engaged. I've heard mixed views on it. I've heard it's pretty durable and I've heard it's not super durable. If you use it like it's intended, you're not gonna have issues. Those of you doing burnouts and drag racing, eh, I don't know. <laughs> It would be interesting to find out. However, I don't have the money to find out. So we're gonna we're gonna use it as intended. I've goofed around with it just a little bit on snowy days. It disengages automatically at 20 miles per hour. When you're over that, it cuts out. So keep that in mind. But I think with the FX4 package, I think it's super cool. That is part of it. I don't think you need the FX4 to have an electric locking rear diff, but if you have the FX4, you automatically have that option. And for those times that you can't get in the bed of your truck, All right, I meant to do that as a blooper, all kidding aside. It works pretty well, but they really did a better job on the 17s when the handle and stuff's all on the latch. Kind of quirky. I think it's nicer than GM's. The only time I'd actually ever use that dumb feature is if I was going in and out of the bed of my truck like 25 times to get to the very end, and I don't know when that's gonna happen. To those of you guys that have made it to the end of this video, I wanna say first, thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Next, who thinks we should do a things Ford guys say or Power Stroke owners say video as to have some fun or maybe poke fun at GM or Dodge. I have friends with Chevys. I have friends with Dodges. Let me rephrase that. I have a friend with a Dodge. Everyone else has either a Power Stroke or a Chevy. So anyway, who thinks we should have some fun with that? Maybe make some videos, get, get a few people a little worked up over some fun and uh, leave those comments down below if you think we should do that guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already shout out to my turbo sponsor turbo time usa love love this shirt uh they sent this to josh they sent one for josh too josh and me for free and i love it i think it's super cool i can't thank them enough for their continued support on the channel hint hint something in the future here could be happening and we of course have to get a turbo on josh's truck that should be happening hopefully this summer some other goodies coming for his truck maybe you know maybe some manifold well, we got ideas guys stay tuned for that anyway again if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up drop those comments down below guys who thinks we should make the video things power stroke owners say drop that comment down below guys i'll see you in the next upload